Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Civilization 5 as the free folk, as the wildlings beyond the wall I guess. Uh, we're playing as King Man's Raider and I just want to uh, show you uh, what I've done with the map mod uh, with the map mode buttons or the other labels. Um, so I, I've really done some research, I guess, while well, I've studied maps, um, and I think I've pretty much covered uh, everything that is notable beyond the wall. So we have obviously the Frost Fangs, and um, because of uh, how this map is, is I guess, uh, done or being represented, I, I divided them into the Northern Frost Fangs and the Southern Frost Fangs. We have already discovered the Frozen Shore over here. This is Spare Island, but um, I didn't actually make, make a map level for it just now because uh, we'll probably discover that uh, a little bit more later on. Uh, then we have the Bay of Ice over here. We have obviously the Skilling Pass. Um, oh, uh, I, one more thing I wanted to do. Oh, now you can see how I uh, add this actually. I wanted, I forgot the milk water. That's one thing I wanted to add. Uh, so we have the river over here. Um, I wasn't exactly sure. Maybe I should call this one the milk water over here. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm rather gonna call that one the milk water. All right, uh, let me change this. Uh, milk water. There you go. Um, and this is obviously just a river. There you go. Uh, so now you see this mod in action, but usually I will do that off camera symbol because uh, it, it doesn't really show any gameplay. So yeah, uh, we have the Northern Frost Fangs, as I said, the Milk Water, we have the Lands of the Thin, we have the Shivering Sea to the east, we have the Antler River and the Haunted Forest, obviously, all over the place. And um, now I do know about Sorrel's Point, but as I said, because there's no peninsula here, I uh, decided to not include this one on this map because it would be kind of weird uh, to put it, like, down here. So... I just decided we're gonna play without that. Um, yeah, obviously, as I said, if you have anything that you think should be added, please let me know. Um, but I think I pretty much covered everything. Oh, oh and also, obviously, I should mention the wall. <laughs> but yeah, perhaps you've already seen that. All right, so uh, let's move on to the next turn and uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we need to fight these White Walkers. Still a minor defeat, but we're gonna do that a little bit, um, like maybe two times more. We'll see. Um, also guys, um, as you can see, this unit will probably get an upgrade next round. And um, when units upgrade, I'm able to name them. And I want you guys to come up with suggestions for names for that character. Now, um, I looked in the files of this mod, and we have um, characters like Man's Raider, uh, Tom and Giant's Bane, and a couple other ones who are uh, listed as great generals, so I don't want them to be leading our regular armies because, well, they they will be great generals at some point. But um, I want you guys to come up with your own wildling characters that um, you know perhaps can lead our, our armies around, which would be really cool, I think. Um, so uh, this one just got its promotion, as I said. Um, and we're gonna explore the frozen shore a little bit more, and as I said, this will get its well just gotten its promotion. And uh, I'm not going to use that promotion just now because I can only edit the name, um, well, while uh, the promotion is active. So um, I, I will just keep the promotion. I think now we're just going to fortify until we're healed. We'll see if we can actually survive, but these guys are probably not going to attack us. So it's only going to be them. Uh, so yeah, I I'm pretty confident actually. Um, 12 turns until we get our two other warriors. That's actually quite a while. Um... Do I really need to do that now? I had a mod that... Ah, oh, damn it, did I not install that mod? Ah... Oh, I actually had a mod installed... Actually, oh no, here's the thing. Okay, here's the problem, guys. So, what happened was, uh, because I started out this scenario, I couldn't go into the advanced setup. And apparently... Um, yeah, actually, that's where I last time said that I could save the unit promotion. So I can't do this anymore. So I'm actually have, I actually have to use this promotion just now. So I'm sorry, guys. The first um, unit I can't really name um, after any of your guys' character suggestions. So I guess we're going to have to do that next time. Huh. All right. Well, I guess since we're fighting in probably mostly forest, we're currently in open terrain. But most of this is going to be rough terrain. So I'm going to give you... I'm gonna give you drill, and which is rough terrain, right? Yes, and we're probably gonna have to move into, well, probably a hill forest, and that's across a river. So I think we're pretty safe over here, um, and then next time we're gonna fortify and just stand there. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, that's unfortunate. 
Um, so yeah, two things I would like, I would have liked to do was turn on the raging white walkers because that would make our uh, stand a little bit more interesting at the beginning, I guess. And also, I wanted to obviously make it possible so I could save these promotions, but it's alright. We're, we're gonna do without just fine. Um, just put your character suggestions in, in, in the comments below and then I will use them as soon as I can. Okay, uh, another unit needs orders. As I said, you are going to fortify. Uh, if they continue to attack across the river into wooded hills, uh, I'm pretty sure we can make our stand, especially uh, once we're fully fortified. Um, these uh, scouts are going to continue scouting out the coast and then we'll do the interior. Uh, I just want to know how far west this map goes because I'm not entirely sure. Now, uh, one thing is um, pretty necessary. We need to actually get some more... Uh, warriors soon because um, well uh, the thing is we get we get culture for each unit killed so the, the more units we kill the faster we get our first social policy which as I said uh, is going to be liberty in the beginning simple because we are the free folk we we're the only free people in the world um, okay this guy's just moved okay he's now afraid to attack us which I'm very very happy about um, Oh, okay, that was automatic the next turn. I actually wanted to see if we could buy something because we have quite some money. So I was uh, thinking about maybe buying a unit, but I guess it's not that important anymore. Okay, so first of all, you will continue. Okay, there's some more White Walkers. So we need to avoid these White Walkers with our scouts because they're obviously not uh, all that powerful. Um, can I purchase something here? Can I purchase a scout only? All right, well, then I guess I'm not going to do that. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go forward then and, and wait some more turns. Um, this one's. This guy's almost fully healed, so I guess they're gonna go over here next. Then they're gonna ba go back, hopefully. And then we can. Uh... Oh my gosh. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Okay, so we've just researched animal husbandry, uh, husbandry which is good, I guess. Although not all that useful just now. What we need is trapping, really. And, and we can't get out, so I guess we're going to have to fortify. Hopefully we can defend against these guys when fortifying. I'm not too sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can't. But we also can't run away from them, which is a shame. So, um, yeah, our guides might die. And you, I think I'm just going to let you stay there. Then once these guys move over, uh, they will have no defensive terrain, no river in between. And then we can attack them next round. Um, and hopefully that's going to give us some some good uh, culture because we need that Yeah, we're getting attacked here and yeah, we're getting slaughtered. Oh Boy Yeah, although actually it's not all that bad. So now we're gonna attack these guys. Yep, and uh, this is a victory now And they're probably gonna move over here, uh, but that's fine um, Ah Okay, our work is done. That's great. So we can move him here and start building a mine. That's really good. That's quite useful. And yeah, let's let, let's have a look at our scouts. I don't know. I mean, we have now fortified for two turns, so that's going to give us a better defensive bonus. And they're not as powerful anymore. So I'm thinking that we're probably going to survive. I think we're going to survive if they are stupid enough to attack us again. But if they have other units around here... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Yeah, they've actually lost more men than we did. Great. And now this unit also needs to be promoted. And I think in these harsh lands, we need survivalism. That's going to give us, uh, yeah, even more defense and more HP. Uh, uh, healed per turn. So that's what we're going to go for. Um, these cities demand some stuff. You're going to go back to healing for this round. Then he's hopefully going to move over here again. And then we'll destroy these wild walkers. Awesome. A anything else? Nope. You will fortify again. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully we, that they didn't stop the fortification. That would be terrible. I don't think he gonna he's gonna attack us again. Um, in fact, we might actually be able to destroy these guys now. Um, yeah, we would. A decisive victory. Awesome. And Crustus keeps the month whales, which is good because we have whales just outside uh, the Shivering Sea. That's awesome. So let's move on to the next turn. Hopefully we're not going to get destroyed. And as you, as you could see, uh, we just gained 8 culture. Amazing. And oh, I missed out on uh, attacking these guys. But perhaps they didn't even move. I don't know. Uh, you are going to go over here. 
and yeah, you're just gonna keep healing up. I wanted to attack, but we'll see if they actually move. Um, I'm not too sure. We're working on these mines. Yeah, they did move. Yeah, all right. Um, and we are now ready to take our first policy. And as I said, I want to go for liberty simply because it it just. I don't know if it, it really perfectly makes sense. As I said, this will be roleplay more than min-maxing, which is why we're playing on a rather low, uh, I guess, difficulty. Um, but yeah, that's why uh, I want to go for Liberty, simply because we are the free folk. I think that makes the most sense. So what did we get for this? Uh, one culture in every city and unlocks the building, the pyramids. Okay. And next, we're probably going to go for production in every city and 5% production in cities when constructing buildings so it's actually smart that we have not yet um, started building too many buildings I guess okay so close that um, for now we don't need any more um, can you explore some more yep okay okay interesting and uh, we are going to attack and destroy these guys now and we're almost ready for a new policy it's not that far away just need to destroy a couple more guys and we're gaining four culture now, that's awesome. Um, did we get the culture yet? We had eight before. That's odd. Uh, oh well, whatever. Um, we also have silver now, so we can, after we finish building this mine, we can uh, go straight over there. That's good. And I guess we have enough money to... Hmm... We could build another worker, but I feel like... No, our, our two warriors are going to be finished in two turns. They will help us destroy these white walkers over there. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. Hopefully our scouts are going to survive. Alright, so we destroyed these. We didn't get the uh, 8 culture, it seems like. Because we had 8 before, then we destroyed them. We didn't get the culture. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how this works exactly. We're going to move over here nonetheless, and then we'll destroy these guys. Perhaps we don't even need these two in order to uh, destroy them. Um... Alright, we'll go here then, I guess. Okay, so this seems to be the end. Okay, so this is the end of the map, good. Uh, so I think um, before we move forward, we're going to heal up a little bit, just so we're not all that damaged, because I would like to keep these scouts around for a while, if possible. Alright. Um, next turn, we will destroy these wet walkers. But they're probably going to spawn some more units. Yep, they just spawn some more units. Okay, you're going to fortify for now, and uh, we can start a new production in Hardhome. And I'm thinking about maybe building, um, building another worker. I think another worker could be quite useful, yeah. And um, choose production in Crassus Keep. I think you're going to build some more warriors. And then we're going to switch that over to buildings as soon as we have the new policy, I guess. Just to make things faster. Okay, uh, can we destroy them? Probably not, but you can heal up and let's see if they actually want to attack us. Okay, so this wor worker is done So we're gonna go over and get that silver mine and which we're actually currently working It's funny that we get food for silver. I like it um, But obviously because of that we're not gaining too much production. That's fine though Okay, this warrior is also finished um we're probably going to send that one up north as well. Or maybe not. Maybe we're going to send that one to discover things in the south. And you are going to be sent up north to help out the uh, the other guy. Yeah. I think that's how we're going to do things. Alright, and let's end this turn. Awesome. I, I think uh, so far I'm actually quite happy in how things have uh, developed. Um, yeah. Okay, they actually they want to... Uh, what is this? Uh, Ptolemy has completed his greatest work. The list of the most literate people. Most technologies. We are actually the worst. We only have three technologies. Wow, Rob Stark has seven. So we're very far ahead of us. Um, but, you know, we're wildlings. We're supposed to be uncivilized. I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, so you're going north, as I said. And you will uh, stalk through the woods. Now uh, let's go here first. There's another citadel, yeah. I, ex I suspected that one. I guess we're going to have to scout these things out with our actual scouts because uh, our warriors are just going to get hurt. Um, okay, so visit the first men. When will we get a new... Um, do I want to build another settler? Maybe. But if we go for liberty... Let's have a quick look at liberty. So we do get... We'll get a free settler here. Um, 
and a free worker here as well. So I guess we're just gonna build... Ah, uh, you know what? We're still gonna build the palace wall. It's a capital. Do we build another worker? A warrior? No, we're gonna build the palace wall. That's fine. For now. Yep. Move on to the next turn. And no, you need another order. Yeah, construct that mine. And let's now move on to the next turn. There we go. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're afraid to attack this guy, this highly defensible unit here, which is great. Oh, more on that brutes. Okay, now we're gonna be careful because they might go after our, our workers here. Um, okay, you attack these guys. Oh, this is bad. They might try and steal our workers here. So let's move on on that hill. I think he can get here, so we're gonna have to move our worker away. Yeah, because he's gonna kill them otherwise. All right, um, and this warrior we're probably gonna send over to protect our worker in, in the future, yeah. And um, also, I think our scout, you've healed enough. Let's discover some more things. Stop sleeping, you have work to do. And a spy has been recruited, Pycelle, <laughs> okay. And I don't think spies make too much sense for us um, right now, so we'll have to see. We're actually being attacked across the river here. Interesting. Huh, but only one unit attacked. This one did not attack. Interesting. And the Fist of the First Man has grown, so we have more, uh, well, I guess, yeah, people. Um, that's fine. Working there, that's, that's totally cool. And we're going to send the Watling Warrior over here. And I guess you can go back to building the mine because uh, his units have shifted over. So, uh, can you destroy these guys? You can. I can give you some... Ah, man. So, we won't be able to name this unit for quite a while. Um, because... Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll have to stop here. Otherwise, we won't be able to really name that, that unit. Uh, let's, uh, let's discover some more things here. Um, okay. Yeah, let's see. Can we reach this guy? Yes, we can. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so that's actually going to be that's going to be very good. We're going to clean the encampment. And also, should we be able to choose our new policy here? I think we can. Yeah. So, uh production every city or a uh, free worker. The title improvement yeah. A free worker appears, or production in every city. Production every city. I think that's gonna help us out more. Yeah, let's do that for now. And um, we have that spy known as Pycel. Uh, that's a little bit odd. I I don't like that um, that the mod does that. Um, so I might have to rename this this guy. Uh, we'll see. Uh, other than that. Um, no, uh, I, I think uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stop this episode here, guys, uh, because I want to be able to actually name one of these units after you guys, and you can only get two upgrades um, per unit from the White Walkers, and this is gonna be the second for this unit, so if I don't use this one now, we won't be able to upgrade it or name it for a while, um, so I don't want to miss out on that, so anyways, guys, um, I'm going to stop right here, and I want you guys to tell me if I uh, named everything correct, if you are okay with uh, what, I, what I named these, these places, if you want to add anything. And also, um, please leave your, I guess, wildling suggestions in the comments below. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope to see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.